بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my name is dr abdul adam from data analytica in this lecture i want to take us through formulating research problem content of this lectures are this so let's go and look at it so the first thing is what is a research problem research problem is the first and the most important step in any research study it is a statement about an area of concern a condition to be improved a difficulty to be eliminated or troubling questions that exist in theory or in practice so the first thing we do when we want to conduct a research is to have a very clear research problem. The importance of defining a clear research problem are first it provides clear direction. Defining research problem provides a clear direction for the entire study from switching the methodology to making conclusions. Also time and resources. Defining a clear research problem saves time, resources as researchers do not have to exploit too many topics. It also helps to ensure that the study is within a manageable scope and with that the study can be completed within a reasonable time frame. It brings about precision that is a well formulated research problem helps ensure that the study is relevant, precise, and meaningful. Formulating research problem also involves considering the ethical implication of the study, such as the potential harm or risk to participants. And finally, formulating research problem involves developing new ideas and theories that can lead to innovation and groundbreaking discoveries. So, these are some of the importance of formulating a clear research problem. We have different types of research problem. There are many types and all depends on the kind of research you are conducting. First, we have descriptive research problem. If your problem is to describe the current state of affairs, you are dealing with a descriptive research problem. For example, and what are the factors that influence students' success in college? So these factors in the process of describing them, you are conducting a descriptive research problem. We have explanatory research problem, which seeks to explain why things happen the way they do. As an example, the problem might ask, why do some students succeed in college while others do not? So in trying to provide answer to this question, you are going to explain why those things happen. Then we have predictive research problem which seeks to predict what will happen in the future. It might ask what are the factors that will predict student success in future. And so when you try to answer these questions, you are doing a predictive research problem. We have evaluation research problem which seek to evaluate the effectiveness of a program or intervention. For instance, questions like, is a new tutoring program effective in helping students succeed in college? Like the LMS that we are trying to adopt in this university now. Finally, we have action research problems which seek to solve a specific problem or improve a solution. For instance, it provides answers to questions like, how can we improve the retention rate of students? In our university, these are some of the types of research problems we have. How can we get research problem? So research problem may come from so many sources, and some of those sources are personal interests. So one of the best source of a research problem is personal interest or passion of the researcher. If the researcher is passionate about a particular subject, you can come up with a research problem in it. 
practical problems or some research problem arise from practical problems for instance issues faced by organization or community so for instance if you try to study what factors is contributing to increasing kidnapping in Nigeria so it, it will help to solve a practical problem then we have policies and regulation so sometimes research problem arise from policies and regulation of government the exchanges in laws or regulation that requires for the investigation when the government changes to treasury single account there are a lot of researches that emanated from that as a result of that policy theoretical curiosity sometimes the researcher may wish to choose a research problem based on the curiosity they have for some particular theories in their field of study like aspiring questions that have not been fully answered these are some of the sources of the research problem what are the steps that you can follow to formulate a good research problem that are feasible and well defined first like i stated earlier is the area of interest you select a broad area of interest from which you generate potential research questions or problems also perform literature review once you have identified your area of interest in your field conduct a thorough review of the literature to see questions that have been asked as or problems that have researched or addressed in your area of interest and that will show you the areas that have not been Explored. Then narrow down the research problem by selecting an issue that has not been fully addressed in the literature. So once you have the broad area, narrow it down to select an issue that is not fully addressed. State the research problem clearly and concisely using precise and ambiguous language. This will make the research problem clear and for your readers to understand. How do we formulate research problem? The first thing you do, you identify the topic area of interest, which topic and which area are you interested in learning more about, and do your research by doing a literature review and identify any gaps in knowledge base. Then develop a research question, what do you want to know about the topic? put them down and refine and finally refine your research question make sure that they are specific they are researchable they are important and they are original here i want to give some tips that can help us in formulating research problem the first tip is be specific your research question should be narrow enough to be manageable but it should also be broad enough to allow for exploration. The research question should be researchable, it should be something that you can actually answer through research. It should be important, that means it should be something that is worth investigating. And finally, it should be original. It should not have been answered before. So after identifying your research problem, you have to state it categorically. And that statement that states your problem categorically is a problem statement. So a research problem statement is a clear and conscious description of the problem that you are trying to solve through research. The problem statement should identify the problem, its causes, and the consequences. It should also state the goal of your research. There is a relationship between research problem and research questions. So a research problem is a broad statement of the initial question that you want to investigate. That is, a research problem is broad, while the research questions are more specific. That is when you disaggregate your research problem into specific questions, which you provide answers in order to address those research problems. And once you answer the research questions, you can gain a better understanding of the research problem. For example, a research problem might be what are the factors that influence students' success in college. 
some research questions that could be used to address this research problem include what are the academic factors that influences student success in college what are the social factors that influence student success in college and what are the personal factors that influence student success in college we have disaggregated these factors into academic social and personal factors i gave an example two examples of a research problem so one we have a topic effect of online customer review on pushes intention of mobile phone consumers in abuja metropolis and we say the research problem or the problem statement can be formulated like this in recent years online customer reviews have become increasingly important in shaping consumer behavior and purchase decision particularly in the mobile phone industry despite the growing importance of online reviews little is known about the specific effect they have on consumer intention in abuja metropolis nigeria therefore there is need to investigate the extent to which online reviews influence the purchase intention of mobile phone consumers in this region as well as the factor that may moderate or mediate this relationship this study does aim to address this gap in literature and provide insight into the role of online reviews in shaping customer behavior in Abuja Patrol Police. You can see in this paragraph, I've been able to adumbrate the problem statement for the topic effect of online customer review on pushes intention of mobile phone consumers in Abuja Metropolis. Another topic that I wrote a problem statement for is the impact of personality traits on investment behavior in Nigeria. The problem can be stated like this. The financial market is characterized by various factors including investors behavior which has been shown to be influenced by personality traits. However, there is a gap in literature on the extent to which personality traits impact investment behavior in Nigeria. A country with a unique social cultural context. Thus, this study seeks to examine the influence of personality traits, such as risk taking, propensity, optimism, conscientiousness, and neurotism on investment behavior among investors. Furthermore, the study will investigate how social demographic factors such as age, gender, and educational level moderate. The relationship between personality trait and investment behavior. The finding of this study will provide valuable insight into the factor that influence investment behavior in Nigeria and help investor financial institutions and policymakers to develop effective strategy for promoting sound investment behavior in the country. You can see that the problem is stated succinctly. Finally, by way of conclusion and summary, we have shown that formulating a research problem is a critical step in conducting a research study. It involves defining the research objective, purpose and scope, and choosing a topic that is relevant, feasible, and innovative. By following the steps to formulate a research problem, researchers can ensure that their study is meaningful and impactful. So we have looked at the importance where we can get research problem from the steps and we gave a practical research problem. So if you love this lecture, you can consider subscribing to our YouTube channel at Data Analytica. Thanks for listening.